So today we're going to be doing a little tutorial on how to fit swivel seats to a Vauxhall Vivaro van. Don't forget to follow the manufacturer's guidelines at all times. So we've already done the passenger seat, as you can see there, and now we're going to show you how to do the driver's seat. So there are four bolts holding this on, three of which you need to undo with a T50 torque set, and then the other one just slides off. So before we take the seat out, we've got to disconnect the seat belt tension connector. And I will show you how to do that. So you get a flat a screwdriver, put that in there, loosen it and unplug it. So we just took the seat out because it was quite heavy, so I had to get dad to help me. But then we realized that we still had the seat belt on. So that's quite an important thing to take off. So it's a 17 mil we're just going to take off here. So as you can see, we've got the seat out now and then we've got our swivel plate here. You need to be really careful to make sure that you've got the right swivel plate for the right seat. So obviously we've got the driver's seat here and then this is the driver's seat. Um, they came as a set, which was quite handy. So you need to make sure that you get the right ones. Um, and then you've got the four, the two holes on each corner here, which then match up with the holes that are in there. So it splits from the base here to this point here. So to start with, you need to make sure that the seat is pushed all the way back and then we're gonna use a T40 torque to undo the bolts here. So now we're gonna to move to the back, so you need to move the seat all the way forwards and then take out the four bolts at the back. I've now got an impact gun just to speed the whole process up. These back ones are a little bit of a pain to get out sometimes, but they're all right. So now the whole thing should just split apart. So we now have our plate and if you see very carefully in that then it's all lined up together but it's so much easier if you do that so then you can properly line it all up but you need to make sure that you do the four corners properly first with these countersunk screws that we got with the plates it's just fit in there So as you can see, all the bolts here are nicely flush so that the plate can move freely without it getting all caught. So next we've got to pick up the seat and then put it onto the plate. Okay, so next we're going to use the bolts that we ended earlier and the plate. You've got to line those up and do it up finger tight and then you've got to remember to slide the seat forwards so then you can get to the back bolts as well.
So now that we've fitted all eight bolts top and bottom, we need to make sure that it all moves backwards and forwards and swivels properly before we put it back into the van. So now we need to get it all into position so then we can do the bolts up. So we need to line that one up so that just slots in there. Line these bits up. So don't forget to reconnect up your seatbelt tensioner, otherwise there could be some trouble there, and your seatbelt as well. Okay, so for the last thing you need to actually make sure that it all swivels around and works properly, but you might need to jiggle the seat around a little bit, just to get it all round. So, you can see that one goes round all quite nicely. There you go. I hope you liked our little video here and don't forget to like and follow us.